What's going on? This is David from Elevated Physical Therapy and Fitness. Today I'm going to go over some of the flex bar exercises that we'll do. Um, oftentimes this is for someone who's dealing with some lateral epicondylitis or a tennis elbow. Um, I do it with other folks as well after wrist injuries and hand injuries and stuff, but that's just the most common. Um, when we're going for the eccentric load on these extensors, what you want to do is you're, you're getting here putting the wrist into extension, and then with the opposite arm, the unaffected arm, I'm winding that up away from my body. And now, I'm gonna slowly control that back to neutral with this right wrist that I'm working here, okay? And then when it's time to come back, I let go with this left hand, the unaffected hand, and I come back into the, that wrist extension and wind it up again and slow through. This is easiest with the arm supported, and then you can progress it with the arm away. The others that I'll do from here are kind of pulling this together with this grip. So it's some supination and pronation here that we're getting combined with some wrist, usually wrist flexion, but some extension in, on this one here, okay? Um, if we're really going for um, like just true grip strength, you can just roll this up with the affected arm and you can get into twisting and pulling in, get those flexors and extensors really involved during that, okay? Those are a few examples of the ways we can use the flex bar. These are, um, you can pick these up at any kind of uh, sporting goods store. There's obviously the knockoff Amazon brands and things like that that you can grab so that you can do these at home um, and, and kind of continue on the program here. Give those a shot. Let me know what you think.